In the previous two videos, I showed how to compute pi with just two colliding blocks and unity physics and created an easily adjustable parametric room purely for visuals. It worked for a mass ratio of 10,000, which allowed to compute pi with a precision of two decimal digits, but it failed with a mass ratio of 1 million. In this video, I'll conduct more experiments and make it work for a mass ratio of 1 million to get higher precision. But before doing any experiments, let's quickly change block colors and add a separate static text element to show big block mass. Now it looks better. First, I unfreeze the rotation of both blocks. Don't mind sounds appearing out of nowhere, I'll get to audio in the next video. Let's start by increasing the big block size to make it actually bigger. It doesn't even work with 100 mass ratio. But let's test bigger masses anyway. Now let's make the big block truly big, something like 6x6 or 7x7. It wouldn't help the experiment, but at the very least it will give me some of your watch time. Hopefully. I hope. Wait, why does it count the collisions with the floor? And that is because in the last part I generated the room in the code and I forgot to set the floor stack as floor, so let's fix that and set floor stack as floor. Collisions are not counted anymore, so we know that setting floor stack as floor worked. Now let's freeze the rotation of the big block only and see what happens. And now the exact opposite, and freeze the big block, but freeze the rotation of the small block. For some reason this reminds me of a frog. Let's finally freeze the rotation of both blocks, which in the last video I found works the best by far. Decreasing the big block size just a bit, and now let's see what happens with various values of fixed time step. Increase it tenfold. Increase it tenfold. Increase it twice to the default value of 0.02. Fixed time step needs to be small. So let's set it back to the minimum and tinker with velocity and position iterations next. But those change nothing, as in the previous video. In the end of the previous video, 1 million mass ratio failed, but what about 100,000? Fails as well. There are two ways to decrease the speed of the simulation to increase the precision. One is to decrease the fixed time step, but I've already fridged the minimum. Another is to decrease the initial speed of the big block, and that is what I'm trying right now. Blocks just stick together, and that is because of a setting called velocity threshold. Any collision with a relative velocity less than this is treated as inelastic. And because the default value is 1, but the initial speed of the big block is just one half, the first collision is bound to be treated as inelastic. Let's fix this by setting velocity threshold to its minimum. It worked! What about 1 million kilograms? Well, not yet, but let's decrease the initial speed even more. This is starting to get really slow really fast. I'm speeding this up. But that actually worked! What about 10 million kilograms? 1e plus 07. This looks horrible and has to be fixed immediately. First, I specify a format string. 
Provide a new number format info to specify white space as the number group separator. Disable automatic word wrapping and add a new line character manually. And now it is time for the ultimate test of this video. 10 million kilograms. Three thousand one hundred forty-one, which means it worked! Wait, stop! The estimation is wrong. The number of collisions was supposed to be about three times larger. It is actually exactly the same as in the previous experiment with one million. So it actually didn't work. Who knew I would end this video here on such an unfinished note to get you to come to the next part? Hopefully. I hope. Like this video, let me know what you think in the comments, which I actually reply to you. Check out the previous two parts of the series of Computing Pi and this video in which I make a complete fully playable game in just one minute. Seriously. And subscribe not to miss future cool stuff such as bridges, curtains and much more. Bye.